try to show something about main air compressor maintenance so whenever we do maintenance in main air compressor you have to switch off the power and then you have to close the outlet valve of the air compressor which you are going to do the maintenance and uh, the reason is uh, if the valve is not holding so the air from the other compressor can pass through this valve and can cause injury and that's the reason we are closing this outlet valve of the compressor once that is closed now we are going to change the valve for uh, tanabe compressor so before uh, opening the valve just put a marking over the flange so that uh, when you box back the flange direction don't change okay so i put the mark already as i always say use proper spanner to open any nuts or bolts so i'm using a box spanner i am opening the cover for the valve so you have to loosen all the four bolts flange bolts then you can uh, open it as i say always whenever you work with uh, spanners be very careful because sometimes if it slips it may hit your hand uh, and may cause injury and uh, if it hits really it will be a painful thing so be very careful when you are using tools okay so it will be this uh, all the four bolts of this particular flange has a torque tightening so when you tighten back you have to use torque spanner torque wrench to do the tightening so now i had opened all the four uh, bolts so you can see two holes over there i just put a mark over number one and number two so that uh, the flange should not uh, mix up when we are opening so see you can see here yeah, uh, you got a uh, two small hole over there that is the jacking bolt fit up area but you can use a uh, screwdriver just uh, fit it inside just tap it and the flange will come out the other way is if it is not coming out you can use those two small holes which is on the top and bottom just use the uh, bolts and jack it out so what i did is i here you can see a o-ring over here you have, check, you have to check the o-ring either you can open the flange by means of uh, what do you call uh, jacking or you can tap and you can remove it so idea is to remove it without damaging so i'm opening the other side also this both are high pressure valves so okay okay so again uh, you have to check the o-ring condition so for removing this tool out this is the special tool it got a thread inside and you have to thread that with the bolt which is available on the van you can do only with this kind of special tool which is supplied by the maker you can see here this is how you have to take out the valve this is the valve and uh, yeah we had already removed it taken it out so what i'm going to do is this uh, this is a special tool as i said you have to be very careful when handling this you have to use it and secure it properly and this is the inside area of the valve seat you have to check for the copper gasket inside so i am opening the other valve also so fit the tool with the bolt of the valve which is inside just pull it out the valve will come out that's all again uh, this is a valve and you can unscrew it you can check the condition inside 
clean it with the help of uh, good rags here also same okay you have to see yeah you have to see inside surface liner surface eh? so that uh, there should not be any kind of uh, scoring mark any rubbing mark something so I told you earlier you have to check the copper gasket this is the copper gasket I am talking about you should ensure the gasket is removed because uh, if it stick there and due to carbon deposit you cannot identify whether it is inside or not so that uh, you have to make sure gasket is already taken out you can see here uh, I'm, this is a uh, when I take the other gasket you can see that is already fitted in the body but here the gasket is still in the valve so this is how you have to check uh, you have to ensure the valve is taken out already that means uh, you have to ensure the copper gasket is taken out already uh, if possible always try to remove it and change it change the gasket and then if not if you don't have spare do annealing this is how you have to do the annealing so we are doing the annealing I will uh, put a separate video on do doing annealing process how to do annealing process uh, properly I will do I will give in a separate video so basically we are uh, removing the stress from the copper gasket that's all that is what we call it as annealing anyway I will show you uh, show it on a separate video so once the annealing is done we can use the same uh, copper gasket and uh, fit it in place okay so next thing is we have to prepare the flange surface area so we'll go there so flange surface area should be properly uh, cleaned uh, means uh, do use a buffing machine and ensure uh, all kind of uh, impurities carbon is removed from the flange that means the idea is uh, when there is some kind of uh, impurities na, then uh, it may affect the sealing property so okay now we are doing the cleaning again cleaning the gasket copper gasket uh, seating area just use a sharp rod and ensure uh, you remove all the carbons and everything so this job is very very simple job but only thing is you have to be little bit very careful when you are doing the job like uh, gasket should be renewed there should not be anything left over so what I do is now I am going to open the valve so how we are going to open the valve just uh, this is the valve holder just open the locking nut it's on the top just open it either you can uh, use the tool also or you can use by hand because you got a separate tool I had uh, provided already a video on it uh, you can use that tool or you can use you can fix it in a vise and you can open it what a problem so this is uh, how we open open the holder you can see a wash over here and a nut and this is the valve so just ensure uh, whatever valve you are taking you have to fit back in the same place I am opening the valve holding uh, bolt but uh, this bolts are really very tight uh. either you can use the hammer or you can use the tool to open it so I had opened it now So I tried to open it without the help of uh, tool but it is uh, impossible so what I do is I will use the special tool which is meant for opening the valve so I am going to fit the tool in place and then I am going to open the valve stem so just fit it same like uh, how I showed uh, in my last video of how to fit the valve put the butterfly nut in place and then uh, you need a allen 
key for holding the valve from bottom side so once that is folded then you can open the valve <coughs> okay so now I'm going to open it but uh, we'll see how it works yeah this is what happens when you oh, try to open the valve you just need to tighten it properly and then you can try to open it so now I have opened the pool in its holding rod so next thing is I need to change the valve this is the old valve and I will be replacing with the overall one okay so this is the overall one which I am going to fix it now so again the same thing what you need to do is you have to clean the valve just blow air ensure no dirt nothing is there again with the help of uh, tool fix it fix the valve tighten it and then you can fix the holding bolt valve holding bolt so again for that also you have a specific torque so fix it in place again uh, any threads you put some kind of uh, molly coat like anti scissor so I'm tightening it okay it is done tightening is done So once the tightening is done, remove the tool, okay, once the tool is removed, then you fix it in the holder, holder should be cleaned properly and then fix it in the holder. So this is uh, just to check whether it's going properly or not you have to fix it properly just clean the area valve seating area you can see some kind of oil everything is there so remove it fixed already okay so we are done with fixing put the washer the nut with the help of torque wrench tighten it so this is a this nut is a self locking nut eh? so you have to be very careful if you miss the nut ensure you are using a self -lo locking nut eh? self locking nut you have to use it and you can see the torque wrench range you can see it in the manual use the torque wrench for tightening it so here uh, I am replacing two valves one is uh, suction the other is discharge valve so you have to be very careful when fitting it you cannot uh, uh, mix with it then you don't uh, get the proper efficiency and uh, it won't work so I had tightened it use a proper torque wrench and tightened it so once the tightening is done then what you need to do is you have to fix it in place so the job is done so you have to be very careful eh? when opening also you have to you cannot mix it that is the main thing put the copper gasket this copper gasket sometime will fall down so in order to avoid it just give a coat of anti-seizure so that uh, the 
proper gasket don't fall down when uh, you are inserting in place so the copper gasket is in place so next thing is we have to fit the valve inside the area so yeah so fix all the parts in place now again use the tool as I said just screw it and uh, with the help of the tool only you can remove or fix the valve because uh, if not it, you don't get it properly so this is how you have to fix it inside the area so when it is properly seated na, then both the valve holders will be flange to flange like this how I did this is how it will be when the valve is fixed properly if not the entire uh, body will try to protrude outside that means it is not in place the valve is not seated in place so it is in place now so next thing what we need to do is you have to put back the flange cover so this is in place now so next flange cover yeah this is the flange cover and check the o-ring let's give you a coat of anti scissor As I said earlier, this marking is to help uh, to ensure the proper uh, flange is in proper place. So next, the bolts. Again, give you a coat of anti scissor. So fix all the bolts in place. So once the bolts is fixed tighten it once the tightening is done again use the torque wrench to tighten the bolts to specific torquening uh, tightening torque so do it uh, in a proper way tightening should be always in cross way so once tightening is done that's all our job is done so this is how you have to remove and refit compressor valves main thing that we need to notice is gasket should be proper and o-ring should be in a good condition and main thing you have to fix the valve in proper direction with the direction change then suction will become discharge and discharge will become suction then the system don't work anyway if you have any doubt please put in comment box definitely i'll reply you thanks for watching keep supporting guys thank you all